Hey everyone, it's Angel again, and today's video I'm super excited about because uh, I made myself a very new junk journal, uh, altered book junk journal, art journal, whatever you want to call it, uh, smash book, whatever, you know, whatever. I like to call them junk journals. I think that's, uh, you know, I think that's basically what it is. Um, and um, I'm really excited about this journal because it's the first one actually that is just mine. Um, the one that I had been working on uh, for my friend, I'm sending it, like I said, uh, in the mail tomorrow. And it's funny that that's the first junk journal that I've ever finished and it's not even for me. And um, the other junk journal that I made, which is the very first one that I ever made out of, you know, out of nothing with uh, paper and a uh, cookie box um, that I filmed, uh, I, I filmed working on a few times on camera. Um, it's not for me either because when my husband figured out what I was doing, like I said, he asked me if he could have it when I was finished. And so it doesn't really feel like it's mine. You know, I feel it just feels different. And I mean, if you if if you're an art, you know, if you do journals, then you know what I mean. Like if you're making something for someone else, there's a different feeling behind it rather than um, the kind of stuff that you're doing for yourself and like just fooling around in and having fun in. And there's just less pressure, you know. Even though the whole idea behind uh, the reason that I love junk journaling so much is because I really don't feel any pressure when I'm doing it. I mean, it's just however it comes out is however it comes out. And as long as it makes sense to me, it makes sense. So, so yeah. Um, but I'm really happy about this because, like I said, this is just for me to fool around in. I mean, I've got a bunch of art journals, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm about to make another one. Um, that will just be dedicated to mixed media and um, watercolor. Um, and it's gonna be different than this one, as in um, this one is for fooling around in, and that one will probably be, you know, I, I want, I will want that one to be nice. You know, I don't know, you know what I mean. Um, so uh, let me show you what I've got so far in this one, and then I wanna do a little bit of work. I, I don't know if you can see, I've got my watercolors out and I'm ready to paint. Let me spritz them a little more just to activate the paint. And, um, and yeah, so, um, so this is my, my book I got at the library. Um, I got it for free, basically. Um, and I've just been, like I said, I've been fooling around, uh, you know, with magazine clippings and scrap paper. Some of the paper you'll recognize and washi tape you'll recognize um, just because I don't have a whole lot. Um, um, this page, I wanted to dedicate it to kimono and I, you know, I, I will eventually, but I've just been uh, putting in a little bit of, uh, some ephemera that I want to, um, glue in. Um, this page I did yesterday, uh, or I think yesterday or the day before yesterday that I really love a lot. Just, you know, watercolor and, uh, this little, this little camper that I cut out of a magazine. So I thought that was cute. Um, you know, just like I said, fooling around, doing cutesy things, cutesy, cutesy things. So, so that's what I've been doing so far in it. I mean, you can see it's very, I want to say it's very childish or childlike in, uh, in, it, in the style of it. And that's why I want to make a, a different junk journal that will be not junk journal. I want to make a different art journal. That'll be a little bit more, um, not adult, but, uh, just a little bit more artistic, I guess. I mean, I think this is artistic. It's just not, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> but I wanna work on something on camera um, because I, I painted this little fishy, fishy picture uh, last night and I got this idea that I will do another fish um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna glue anything on it, but I just wanna, I don't know. I just, like I said, I just, I wanna have a little bit of fun. I just wanna play a little, play around a little bit. So uh, once again, just hang out with me like we do here. And uh, let me get started on this painting. Um, I, I'm not, I wasn't planning to, um, 
do like a, a, a sketch because I mean as you can see this is like easy you know it's just I mean if you don't know how to do a goldfish and you always wanted to learn how I mean just a simple you know a simple way to draw a goldfish is just to do like an egg shape with that point you know kind of on the ends and um, then a triangle like that and then you just kind of you know put a fin right here some some fins on the top mm. there you go <laughs> I mean that's how you draw a fish that's like your basic fish I just realized I forgot to put like a little um, a little fin right here because they need to have a little fin right there um, and I will do that today so I think I'm gonna start with my um, round brush and um, since I made her a girl um, I gave her some cute little eyelashes and some lipstick so this one will be a boy because I want them to look like they're about to kiss <laughs> so um, so yeah so just hang out with me guys just hang out with me that's what we do um, it's gonna be a little bit hard um, painting on camera because I um, the way my camera's set up, it's it's a little bit weird, but just bear with me. I think for the boy fish, I'm going to make him purple. He will be purple and yellow, and um, he's going to be a lot more colorful, I think, than she is because I mean, in nature, um, well, it seems like. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it just seems like in nature the males. Uh, the male fish are, are usually more colorful than uh, the females because they have to attract the females. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm just gonna, just gonna do the same, same shape that uh, I did her. And um, he's also a little bit smaller than her which I think if I recall that's that's how it is too so this is um permanent blue violet that I'm using and so I'm just gonna fill it in a little bit so yeah <laughs> you're gonna laugh when I tell you something um this book is called um the flaming corsage and um, I, it, it's by an author named um, William Kennedy, William Kennedy. And um, he, this book, it must be about like prostitution or something because, oh, mouse, or don't cry. Um, I think it's about like prostitution or something because um, the word whore is like, I'm telling you, I'm not joking. It's on every single page. It's so like vulgar. It's so vulgar, you guys. <laughs> and I've had fun um, painting on this paper because um, it's really different. Like it's, it's not like a uh, paper that I'm used to painting on. Mouser love, don't cry. Do you hear my dog crying? <laughs> So I'm just gonna work on the uh, the fins. So I'm going to make this guy's fins really, really flowy. My mouse, don't cry, baby. There's nothing wrong. So I just I'm just laying in color. Like I said, this is just this is just for fun. But I want to put in the the lighter colors before I go in with the purple. Okay. Um and 
so while that dries, I will work on the on the outside, <laughs> or the I'll work on the water. And um, I used phthalo blue and ultramarine blue for the uh, the water here on this side last night. So I will do it on the same. Do the same. <clears throat> And like I said, this paper is really, it's really interesting to paint on because it absorbs like the paint. I mean, obviously it's, you know, it's not watercolor paper. So um, it's not meant, you know, it wasn't, it was meant to be read and not painted on, but. <laughs> I had other ideas for it, but I feel like because it absorbs the the paint right away, it's actually kind of easier to work on doing these little funny little paintings because um um I don't have to worry too much about the the colors like running into each other, so I'm not I do like the way this came out last night and I think it's because I used more water so that's what I'm gonna do I always have a hard time like when I've made something trying to make it again the exact same way that I made it when I want to replicate something I just I have such a difficult time doing that but oh well that's me oh but then again I was using a water brush last night that's probably why I was able to like, like have the water flow and it was a, a round, a round brush. So that's probably why, but I have plans for the, for the water. I want to put like, you know, bubbles and stamps and all kinds of, um, cute little things. So yeah, so this is my little fish is dry enough to uh, work on and so for his little kissy kissy mouth um I think I'm gonna use excuse the um the noise I had to open the porch for the porch door for my puppies so I'm going to make him a smaller mouth And um, this is gills. Uh, I'm gonna make some some eyes for him. I like that. Just put in a little bit of of details. So I feel like that yellow. Those yellow fins don't really look like they're part of the fish. Does he look like a boy? <laughs> Does he look like a boy to you? There's nothing better than this to me. It's just, you know, having my water and my palette and just, I don't know, just being free. And that's why I'm so happy that I decided to do this altered book before I finished um, the journal that I made that my husband, you know, that I wanted to give to my husband because I just really needed, you know, something for myself. You know, we all need something for ourselves, right? So I'm gonna do the, these little, just some, some little scales, fish scales, just a little hint <laughs> of them for our little guy here. 
and um, now that uh, I'll let that dry while I let that dry I'm gonna um, give her um, her little fin and so I used um, I used a combination I made a gray with um, ultramarine and um, and burnt sienna I prefer to mix my own grays and once in a while I'll use Payne's gray which is what I used for his lips but I I really prefer to make my own grays so I'm just gonna give her a little just a little just a little something <laughs> Just a cute little, cute little something. Now I wanna, I wanna make his lips a little bit more. Just make it look like lips. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm happy about it. Oh, and you know what else is, I noticed is that the this paper absorbs so much, so it's like, you know, in watercolor, you can't really put light over dark. You can usually just do like, you know, dark over light. But you can on this on this paper. And I was originally going to make um, this little dude green, but I didn't feel like it would be enough contrast with uh, the blue of the water, <laughs> you know, so. So, so yeah, so there he is, my little, my little fish. Oh, I forgot a little, uh, I forgot a fin for him. So I'm just gonna make him a fin. I'm gonna make his more elaborate. I'm gonna make his more elaborate too, which is probably not uh, in nature wouldn't happen <laughs> because I think this fin is uh, actually for, for uh, Navigation, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I watch a lot of nature shows. I love all that stuff. Okay. Okay. Is that cad yellow? Let me see if I can put some. I want to put some more cad yellow on. And this little fin right here and um some red there's my alizarin crimson that's cadmium red okay i haven't used this particular um palette in a while i've been using my little travel palette that i bought a couple months ago so i'm like i'm kind of unfamiliar with it but i have like a little guide um telling me where you know where all my colors are. <laughs> so let me put some more lipstick on her. She has pretty red lipstick on. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll figure out what else I want to do. Okay, so um, it's not all the way dry, but it's dry enough for me to uh, work on and I just got out some acrylic paint. So I have, <laughs> this is like a mess, but this is uh, lemon yellow. This is, uh, what is this? White, just white, just regular white. This is phthalo green and this is um, yellow ochre. So I just wanted to like just paint in some, some plants, some ocean plants. And I, I just, I really didn't like how, um, 
how uh, dark this um, his little forehead here ended up. So I just wanted to add a little bit of of yellow a little bit I may even add a little bit of paint uh, to her I'm not sure but I just wanted to lighten it up a little so so yeah this is not the the best acrylic paint I've ever worked with well, actually, truth be told, I've never really worked with um, like artist grade acrylic paint. I mean, I may have in, in high school a little bit, but not not really. I was never really that, uh, that, well, no, I was okay with acrylic paint. I mean, I wasn't the best, but I wasn't the worst either. I did all right. So. So yeah, I think, I feel like that looks, that looks better. Yeah, I feel like that looks all right. That looks a little better. I think I'm gonna give them some pink cheeks uh, when that dries, but, but yeah, so I'm happy about, I'm happy about, I, I like that a lot better. Um, you might not even notice the difference, but I like it a lot better. So I'm just going to add in some, just some, some plants. I mean, this could end up being like adorable or it could end up being a disaster. I don't know. We'll see. But what I love is that I don't really care how it comes out because, you know, I just wanted to play around and that's what I'm doing. So I'm just kind of like adding some of the, the leftover yellow with the phthalo green and just kind of making squiggles, just playing around. And I don't like, I don't use the same, I don't use the same brush, paint brush, um, when I'm painting with acrylic as I, as I use for my watercolor, like my watercolor brushes, you know, I, I baby them basically. Like I keep them clean. I, I always rinse them out when I'm done. Um, just because I, if I take care of them, I know that they'll last me a long time. And I really don't spend a whole lot of money on um, on brushes, which I should, but I don't. So I feel like the green's not really, well, it's showing up kind of, but I just wanted, you know, I just wanted a little bit, just something. Maybe they're having like a little date. <laughs> in the grass, I don't know, in the seagrass. <laughs> I have some cute stamps too that I'm gonna, um, once this is all dry, that I'm gonna, um, that I'm gonna use. So, so yeah. I mean, just, you know, something for fun. This is what I really needed today. Just needed to do some some fun art, nothing too serious, no pressure. <laughs> So I want to add some white, like, I just want to make some bubbles, 
I guess. I don't know. Just want to make. Just make some little bubbles. Not taking anything seriously. Just, you know, just fooling around. So, okay. Like it. Liking it. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll come back to it. While that's drying though, actually, I'm going to, um, oh. So while that's drying, I think what I'm going to do is, um, put the the rest of that paint on a different page just so it's not wasted because I don't like to waste at least the um, the yellows so I'm just gonna, just gonna do that just so that I have like I don't know it's like an instant background I need to get better brushes for, um, you know, for when I do acrylic because I am, I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I want to get, um, like, um, like, um, not necessarily professional grade, um, liquid acrylic inks, but I really did like, um, you know the gold ink that I had been using? That's an acrylic. Like that's an acrylic ink and um, I really, I, I really, really enjoyed working with it, but I'm like, I'm not sure if I want to um, get some more like that or if I want to just go ahead and get some distress acrylic paint. I mean, I could get both, but my gosh, it's too expensive. <laughs> okay, oh, so I had to pause, um, cause I got a phone call, but um, still just trying to use up this leftover paint. I don't, I, you know what? It would be easier if I had a bigger brush, right? wouldn't it so I just want to I don't know I just want to use up this paint this is like really not a pretty um really not a pretty look but this journal is not for being pretty it's for being messy and having fun and playing around and I mean just doing this it's just oh it's so therapeutic it really is I totally recommend anyone who doesn't do this doesn't paint go to the dollar store and get like or go to Walmart and get like the you know the cheap acrylic like these this artist loft cheap acrylic paint and get yourself an old book and like just paint, just paint in it. It'll be cool though, because I'll be able to, um, you know, this will just be like a background. I won't have to worry about doing a background. So yeah. And I'll do it on this side too. Oh, that yellow ochre is so pukey, isn't it? I really don't like it. I mean, it's just not, I mean, I'm sure it has like a, a purpose, like an art artistic purpose. I mean, all colors do, but it is just really not a pleasant color, I think. So, okay, that paint's used up pretty much. Pretty much used up. Okay. Okay. Um, 
So how am I going to get this from being sticky? How am I going to keep it from being sticky, guys? What can I do? I know what to do. Um, okay, well, I'm going to have to try it like this. I guess. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and the paint on this page is still dry. Well, it's actually pretty much dried. So I'm going to let that dry and, um, and I'll be back. It's dry enough and um, I'm just going to put some stamps on it and call it a day, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm not done working on this. I'm sure I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll do some more stuff to it, you know, as it comes to me. But like I said, I just wanted to play around today. I just really needed, you know, something to, you know, I just needed to be free, you know, and to do something, I don't know. So I'm just going to put some stamps. I don't know if they're going to show up. That one is, didn't really show up, but it's okay. <laughs> not really showing up but that's okay I don't care I do need to get better ink that I know for sure that I really know for sure yeah I'm not really showing up but kind of kind of showing up Do a um, starfish, maybe red. Or I think this is magenta. Let's see if this one shows up. I have a feeling it's going to. Ooh, look! That one came out cute. Put another one right here. Cute. Try this scallop shell. I really want it. I want. I wanted it to be black. Maybe I wasn't inking it enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cute. Okay, sand dollar. Let's try the sand dollar. Let's try um, this pale green. Oh, I have a feeling that's going to show up. Yes! Cute! Cute, cute, cute. Do one more right here. Cute. I probably should have waited for the all the paint to dry completely, but I just I didn't have the patience. So let's try let's try yellow one more time. I'm gonna try yellow. One more time yellow. I don't remember where I got these paint or these inks. I think at Tuesday morning. I think it's like a chalk, like a, a, a chalk kind of ink. Yes, baby. That was my puppy. <laughs> These two are the biggest crybabies you're ever going to meet. Yeah, not bad. Not bad, right? Let's try it in black again. Where am I going to put it? Put it here. Yeah, cute. OK. 
Okay, well, well, I'm gonna try the, I love seahorses. I'm gonna do the seahorse one more time. Let's see, hopefully it'll come out. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's put them here. No, it didn't. It didn't come out well. These stamps are not that wonderful, I have to say. It may just be that I'm doing it wrong, but let me, maybe if I put one in this magenta. Hold on, baby, I'm coming. Mm, oh well. Oh well. Well, I still like this page and I'm still happy about it. <laughs> Okay, so um, that's all I'm gonna do today. I mean, that's really all I wanted to do was to play around and um, and that's what I did and I'm happy that I did because I really needed it. Um, and yeah, and I, I, I think it came out kind of cute. They're about to kiss. <laughs> I may write something on it after all this is dry. I don't know. And I'll, I'll show you guys um, what it ends up looking like when it's done if you want to see it. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I just wanted to play around and um, have a little bit of fun, uh, do something very lighthearted. So thanks for joining with me um, and hanging out with me while I did my funny little page here. I had fun doing it. Um, you know, it's not the most beautiful of, of things that I've ever made, but I really, really just needed to just play around today and do something um, not non-serious at all. I am very likely going to do another watercolor in my next video, something a little bit more serious and uh, more beautiful than this. Um, <laughs> I mean, this is beautiful in its own way. It's beautiful to me, and it makes me happy, and uh, that's all that matters. And, um, and yeah, so thanks again for hanging out with me, and I will see you again in the very next video. Give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, because that helps me out a lot. So I will see you again soon, and until then, I really hope that you will make something that makes you happy. I will see you again later. Bye-bye.